Hi friends, thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to be swatching, demoing, and reviewing the new Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Eyeshadow Palette. So if you want to know all the details, swatches, and I'm going to be doing two different eye looks, then let's here go. Here is a close-up of the palette. This retails for $69, just like her other midi palettes. And it comes with six mattes, one multi-chrome, one duo-chrome, two metal gloss shades, which is a new formula, one slip cream matte, which is also a new formula, and two metallics. So the six mattes that we have is this one in Soft Spot, Mellow, Ripe, Vim, Fervor, and lastly, Pep. Soft Spot. Next is Mellow, Ripe, Vim, Fervor, and Pep. I'm going to leave the newest formulas to swatch at the end, and I'm going to swatch all of the other metallic and shimmery formulas. So other than the metal gloss formula, we have this multi-chrome in Phenomena, this duochrome in Dynamism. Our metallics are Fancy and Hanker, and then our sparkly foils are Elm and Push. So here I have the multi-chrome in Phenomena. Next is the duochrome in Dynamism. And then our two metallics, Fancy and Hanker. The mirror will help us see that green shift in that multi-chrome in Phenomena. It's really hard to tell just from a swatch then this duochrome and dynamism isn't really giving duochrome. It's giving more just a regular metallic with green specks. I really don't see like any shift. I definitely see a shift in the multichrome, but not the duochrome. So here's Elm and here's Push. Push might be my favorite metallic. It's a beautiful peachy rose gold. Lastly, let's swatch and talk about her new formulas. So we have two metal gloss formulas in here, being the shades Snug and also Homey. And then we have a new slip cream matte, which is going to be this shade in Flashover. Snug, Homey, and then Flashover. In my opinion, Homey, this one in the middle, on the eyes gives way more of that glossy, very shiny, reflective, slippy kind of texture on the eyes. Snug, not so much. I honestly more so would call this a sparkly foiled. At least when you put it on the eyelids, it swatches the same as Homie. But if you really look close, Homie has way, way more sparkle to it and feels more wet. And Flash Over is such an interesting texture. It feels exactly like a cream, but it does set down. And it is movable. It's not stiff whatsoever. It feels moisturized to the touch. It's a very interesting texture. And as you can see on the finger, it literally looks like a cream eyeshadow and it's great for layering and that's what I've been doing is using that as an eyeliner or an eyeshadow base and layering the comfort mattes on top and it works beautifully. I just want to show you in real time how slippy and glidey and like how easily that stretches and adheres to the skin. I set down some tape for look number one. I am going to be doing a different look on each eye. That way we can really see as many of the shades on the eyelids as we can. But before that, I forgot to show you guys the unicarton that it comes in in case you were curious. Here it is. And here is the back. It is made in Italy. Also, of course, not tested on animals, otherwise we wouldn't be reviewing this. The look that I'm doing is going to be my own take 
on one of the looks on Natasha Denona's Instagram actually using this palette on a model, but I am gonna switch some of the shades around to match with my skin tone. So first I'm going with a really small angled pencil brush and I'm going to be using the Slip Cream Matte Shade, basically creating an eyeliner, but also going into the crease a little bit I'm also gonna put some right in the inner corner because we are doing a halo eye. Now I'm grabbing an angled crease brush. First, I'm gonna go into ripe and I'm gonna place that right above that flash over shade. And I am going to connect using that ripe shade right above my crease using that same brush now i'm gonna go into this fervor shade this is definitely the warmest matte it's giving more of that orangey morphe 35o kind of vibes and i'm gonna do the exact same thing except i'm not gonna put it in the middle but as you can see this palette isn't overly warm not really overtly like red or orange like the bronze palette or even like other warm eyeshadow palettes on the market which i prefer i definitely think this is more warm neutral i think that just makes it way more versatile i'm gonna go into dynamism using my finger and i'm gonna put that on the lid but towards the outer corner kind of overlapping I'm gonna go into push and that one's gonna go right in the center next to that dynamism shade I'm doing my eyes first because there is a little bit of fallout with these shimmers even if you go in with a finger hopefully you'll be able to see a little of the sparkliness I do want to deepen on top of that flashover shade because I feel like it got washed away a little bit. So I'm gonna go into Vim, which is the center shade. Again, back with that small pencil brush. And then going back into that blending eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to go over the edges of where I put that Vim shade. And I'm not using any lights in today's video, so this is 100% natural lighting, no filters or anything. And so this is what the first eye look is looking like. I'm just going to be pulling from something I have in my head so going in with that same brush from before because I'm starting off with both ripe and fervor just gonna lay that into my crease those mats blend beautifully into each other I'm taking a big fluffy eye blender, this is from e.l.f., going into the lightest matte shade, which is Mellow, and now I'm going to go above my crease to diffuse the edge of Ripe and Fervor. Now taking a flat eyeliner brush, this one's also from e.l.f., again, going to go into Flash Over and use that as a base for our eyeliner. And I'm also going to take some and go right in the inner part of my eyelid. Using that same brush, I'm just going to go over top with the darkest matte called Pep. Using a flat shader, this is a Sigma E54, and going back into Mellow, 
I'm gonna place that in the very center of my eyelid for a little brightness. I'm not done yet, but in case you wanted to do an all matte look, you definitely can with this palette. I think that's stunning, maybe with just a little inner corner wing. But I really wanna use this multi-chrome on the eyes, so going in with my finger, with that Phenomena shade, and I'm gonna go right on the lid. That is so pretty. Like the shine on that is insane. It just looks so smooth. And just for fun, on a different finger, I'm gonna go in with Homie. And I'm gonna go in the center again, but right at the base of my lashes to really highlight the center. So here is the second eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and put on eyelashes and the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Here is the full face. And if you're wondering what else I'm wearing, I will leave that listed in the description box down below. Off of camera, I did add a little bit on the lower lash line. On this side, I added Fancy in my inner corner. And then on this side, I added Elm. So those are two good inner corner highlights. I will say Elm, which is the sparkly foil formula does feel a little bit more thinner in texture and just lays more lightly on the skin as compared to Fancy, which is a metallic. That makes sense. But I'm extremely pleased with how both sides came out. My only critique for this palette is I do wish there was a matte off-white slash cream shade. It would be nice if we had a lighter matte other than this mellow shade. I could have done honestly without Hanker, which is the metallic. Other than that, this palette is a 10 out of 10 for me. I scored this higher than I Need a Nude and Ethereal Eyes by Makeup by Mario. I just think this is the most beautiful color story. Did I need it? No, I don't think anyone really needs this unless this is the very, very first eyeshadow palette you've ever bought. But if you like Natasha Denona quality or if you've been interested in her eyeshadow formula, you will not be disappointed. This is an absolutely stunning, extremely easy to work with. The mattes basically blend themselves. The shimmers are so high impact and reflective. I will say I don't really see how this could work for deep, deep skin tones. Natasha Denona does use eyeliner in her tutorials um, to add depth, so that's probably why some of that is lacking in her palettes because she does supplement that with an eyeliner. So that is another critique that I do want to bring up. I do think that tan skin tones will also get away with using it, but it's just for that deep skin tone. I don't really see how these mattes are going to show up on you. The shimmers definitely will, but there could be a little bit more depth always, always for the deep skin tones. Overall, those are my thoughts. I do think this palette is worth it. I like this more than I Need a Nude. This is the nicest palette and the most fun I've had playing with eyeshadow all year, if I'm being honest. So I am extremely pleased and happy that I purchased this palette. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Are you going to try this palette? Have you already tried this palette? Do you like Natasha Denona formulas? Have you tried her eyeshadows? Let me know. And if you want more tutorials, reviews, get ready with me's and other makeup teens, then like, comment, subscribe. I'm sending you guys so, so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one.